Okay, a little update for everyone from this weekend's work. I needed to take a little break and stretch my legs, so I thought I'd do this. These are the trusses from the two-story house that was next door. Some of them need some repair, but I'm going to use them on the lean-to. So we were able to get all of them over here. We made some quick forks for the tractor. <clears throat> this is going to be the lean-to area. I still have a couple stumps. Unfortunately, it looks like a good portion of the trees behind there are going to have to come out strictly because of their root system. The septic field, leach field, is on the other side of those and can't have these cottonwoods getting into that. Oh, a little out of focus, that's odd. Okay, I've moved down to where a lot of the tree cutting action took place. Um, first, let's start with the three yards, log yards we're going to have. Down the path here, there's a concrete pad back behind here. That's where we're going to end up stacking the trees that we feel are meet the grade and the parameters for actually using them from the log home. That means they have to have only so much taper to them. They can only have, or they have to have so many rings per square inch if you were to count out on the growth for the strength to be there, um, which I think is uh, 10 rings an inch. And then the taper, you can only have like one inch per 10 feet because we are using actual logs, not milled logs so these will be basically cleaned up and debarked trees so when we lay them down with the taper every other log will be flipped so that you got the fat end swapping ends yes it does work very well now this area right here where we're doing all the trees we got one two uh, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a, uh, another stump under this pile here. And eight trees that we cut down this past weekend. These last four we did real quick, just because it does start help giving her view when you're, when you're back up higher. Uh, well, that's that. Behind me, you can see where I take the tractor up and just drop the logs that we were cutting up. Currently, I'm stacking the cut logs for firewood here. We haven't had any logs that meet the house grade yet. And if we look up the driveway here, you will see two more stacks here. What's on the right is gonna become firewood. That was our original stack when we started. On the left are logs that are good and clean we can turn around and sell and use those to sell make a little extra cash on the side but they don't meet what we need for building the house now you're also starting to see piles of brush here's one there's one there's another one over there we are purchasing a chipper and we will be chipping all of this stuff into mulch at least as much as we can some of the bigger stuff like the stumps when i dig out the stumps some of them i'm actually going to use for decoration and i'll take you up and show you that near the end of the video or some of the th ways we're trying to use them otherwise the stumps will all end up being burned in one big pile during burn season right now it is not they're not issuing any more permits fire danger is high so we aren't playing with that all right, a little more in focus. You can see the trees. I'll be starting and stopping this video as we go along, just so I can move to the different areas. Behind the shop is where we started the pile of firewood, just so we start splitting it and it dries. Um, as you can see, there is a second load back there. A cord of wood equals four foot by four foot by eight foot. So I believe we're probably equal to I'm going to say a little, about a quarter and a half, but that's a wild guess right now, so we'll leave it at that.
This was our, or is our current uh, log splitting station. I basically take the tractors, bring the logs up through here, drop them right up on top, cut them into the 18 inch rounds, split them here, and then we'll just walk them right around and stack them on this. Obviously we're running out of space here quick. So I think next weekend, when uh, I know my middle child, or I should say middle son, Graydon gets out here, him and his girlfriend, I think we're going to have work on the lean-to area a little more so I can get the post ordered and we can get that built. That way we can actually move that to directly under where their wood's going to be stored and just stack directly in one shot. Okay, I've come up to where they were splitting wood. Just to give you guys an idea, I know in a previous video, Jody had mentioned the slope. And I believe this gives you a pretty good idea of how the ground slopes down. And we will be able to build a house in this location with a walkout basement. The area between the house here and the shop will be, you can't see it because of all the sawdust, but will be completely filled with gravel and drainage so that all this drains out nicely out that way. Um, the driveway that's going to come in will come in around and into the side underneath. At least that's how the current plans are. And a little peak. If you look, you can start to see some of the tops of the mountains. We might get in there next weekend and just cut a couple more trees out just because the more we see that the more excited we get but we do have to focus on the lean-to area quick little view of the upper stack like i said we'll have three stacks we'll end up with three different stacks these are actually all going to be those are cell logs those are burn which will get moved down to that other pile down there and then again the house log set will go down below yeah anybody want a trailblazer it was left here and she actually dropped off the title for it quick little view driveway going in i think you've all seen this before but i'm gonna walk over to here and show you what we've done with one stump and what we're going to do with a couple more. All right. Some of you may think it's a little corny. We think it's kind of cool. I don't know. But what I'm doing is flipping the stumps upside down. I'm rinsing off most of the dirt out of the roots. And we're just going to stack two or three here. We're going to have a lot more than that. But uh, it also helps with some privacy and access, for example. This little road that you're seeing back behind here is our lean-to to the, or lean-to, <sighs> our easement road to the 20 acres. And moving these stumps isn't exactly the easiest. I actually use the tractor to drag it over here. And although I've got just a little tractor, that stump probably still weighs a thousand pounds so figure with three of them up front we shouldn't have to worry about people should get the idea they're not allowed back in here especially with that not that the criminals really care <laughs> 